Ago, actually. How was work? I hope you had a good day. Yeah, I'm just a little tired. Wait, why are you home so early? It's only three o'clock. I thought you didn't get off of work until five o'clock. And what is that? Oh, that's um. Thank you, David, for letting me use the bathroom. Hello, David. Yes. What's going on? Nothing really. Linda meet Sophia. Sophia meet Linda, my wife. Hi, nice to meet you. Do you care to explain to me what's going on? Sophia's a childhood friend of mine. Her mom and my mom are friends. And we practically grew up in the same town in, in New York. But when she was 11, her parents had to move back to Columbia take care of their parents, and that's when we lost touch. Okay. And the company that she works for just transferred her back to the United States. Go on. She called me this morning to pick her up from the airport because she doesn't know her way around yet. And? And nothing. Nothing, really. So how did she end up here with us? She was gonna check into a hotel, but I offered that she come stay with us. You offered she stay with us. Yeah. And exactly when were you gonna let me know that you offer space in our house to a stranger? She's not a stranger. I've known her practically my whole life. Well, since I've not known her my whole life, she's a stranger to me. Look, this arrangement is not gonna fly in this house. So get your act together and get her out of here. Oh, and I'm not asking. Okay, David, if it's going to be a problem, don't worry, I can leave. No, 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 it's okay. It's not gonna be a problem. But I don't want to be the reason of your wife. So your wife is your wife. No, look, it's okay, relax. You're not, you're not the cause. Just let's go to your room and try to relax. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. What is your problem? Linda, I'm talking to you. What exactly is your problem? I am not the problem here. You are. What are you talking about? You brought someone into our home and expect me to be quiet about it? Look, I told you, she's not a stranger. To me, she is. By the way, why didn't you ask me if it was okay with me before you brought her here? Since when do I ask you for permission for anything? You know, oftentimes you read in the paper that 50% of marriages don't last. 65% end up in divorce. This is exactly how it starts. What are you driving at? Who gave you the right to bring someone into our matrimonial home? Who says I need rights from anyone to do what I want in my house? You're taking her back to wherever you got her from. I'm not taking her anywhere. David, let sleeping dogs lie. And if I don't, what's the worst that's gonna happen? All I know is she's not staying here. And all I know is that she is staying here, whether you like it or not. Sophia, what are you doing? Why aren't you unpacking? I hear you and Linda arguing. So 
So what's that got to do if you're not unpacking your clothes and getting something to eat? I'm not comfortable here, David. I don't want to be the reason for your fights. Please, come off that. You're not the reason for anything. We were fighting, we were fighting before you got here. Are you sure? 100%. Come on, let's get you situated so you can face the real reason why you're here. David, thank you so much for helping me. I don't know what I would have done if you were not here. You're a great friend. Maybe you should have checked into a Hilton hotel somewhere far away, which is what you should be doing right about now. And, uh... What? Listen, you're gonna have to find a place to stay because this house isn't big enough for both you and I. Sophia, what are you doing? Just put these away. I'm sorry, I have to go. I don't like to be talked to like that. Sophia, what's the matter? David, I don't want any problem. What problem? The way Linda is talking to me. I, I, I don't want to be the reason for your fight. And I, and I feel it's going to be a big problem. And I really don't want to be part of it. Look, are you going to listen to her or are you going to listen to me? I said relax, okay? Now, let's, let's put these away and go get something to eat, okay? You are not gonna talk to my guests that way ever again. What way? What do you mean? <laughs> You're trying to intimidate Sophia, but that's not gonna work. I am not trying to do anything of such. <laughs> Look, I'm telling you once and for the last time, the shenanigans that you pulled back there, they stop right now. But David, I- But, but nothing. Look, if you're tired of this marriage, you can leave. Good morning, Sophia. Good morning, Linda. Are you hungry? I'm just about to make breakfast. I thought I should just ask you if you wanted something to eat this morning. Uh, not right now, but thanks for the offer. Actually, David and I are going to leave. Uh, we are going to see my new office. And he said we can grab something on our way. So thank you so much. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. Hey, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, let's talk. Okay. Linda, we should be back soon. Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. It's been a while yeah. since I have been to the movies. Thank you so much, David. Oh, don't mention it. Anything for you. Thank you. Do you remember when we were little playing in the backyard? Yeah, we used to play in the backyard all the time. Yeah, but do you remember that one time when you when we climbed a tree and you told me to jump and, and I did it and I <laughs> broke my big toe? <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I actually got in a lot of trouble with my parents because of that. Yes. And uh, I still feel bad about it. Don't feel bad about that. That happens a long time ago. Uh, do you want a bite of my, of my chocolate? It's so good. Uh, I'm still full from dinner. Uh, just one bite. Yeah. Can you get my coat, please? Good night. Really, David? Really? Really what? What are you doing sitting there in the dark in the middle of the night? The question is, what are you doing coming home at this time of night? <sighs> Listen, I don't need you 
monitoring when I leave and when I come in. Like I said before, if you're tired of this marriage, you can leave. Training. Good. A little bit tiring, but good in general. Glad to hear that. Thank you. Uh, here you have your keys. Um, thank you for letting me use your car. I really appreciate that. Yeah, don't mention it. Okay. I'm gonna go in to rest a little, okay? Sure. So, when is she leaving? She's starting the job next week, right? So she should be about ready to move. Please, don't start. Don't start what? I'm just asking. Don't start your stupidity. Your coffee mug is on the kitchen counter. Some dude just called your phone. What are you talking about? I said his name was Chuck. Chuck. I don't know anyone by that name. Wait, you picked up my phone? Yeah, so what? What do you mean, so what? The last time I picked up your phone, you were ranting and raving like the whole world was gonna end. Okay, that still doesn't answer the question. Who's Chuck? That's what I wanna know. I don't know anyone by that name. <laughs> How convenient. Someone calls your phone, knows your name, knows your mom's name, and you don't know who he is? Call David, him. what are you doing? I don't know anyone by that name. Call him back. Hello? Hello? Wait, wait, put on speaker. This is Linda. I got a call from this number. Who is this? Okay, Linda, this is Chuck. I don't know anyone by that. Wait. Charles? Yeah, Linda, this is me. Oh my god, you confused me. Since when did you change your name from Charles to Chuck? Both names are actually the same. Friends just started calling me Chuck and I just kept it. What happened to your old number? I still have it. Sorry, I didn't realize I called you. How is everything? Good. Everything's good. How's everything with you? Good, everything is good with me. Listen, I'm on my way to Miami, and your mom asked me to drop off a box with you since you're on my way. I just want to make sure you're available to receive it. What time do you think you'll get here? Probably about 8 p.m. Sure. I'll be home. Did she give you the address? Yeah, she did. I'll see you later, then. Yeah, thank you. Oh my god, thank you for bringing that. No, don't mention it. What are friends for anyway? <laughs> anyway, I mean, I couldn't say no to Miss Dorothy. <laughs> she never said anything about it. I wonder what's in it. Yeah, I'm not sure. I didn't ask. Hmm. I'll have to ask her. Did I hear the doorbell ring? Yeah. Uh, David, this is Charles. Charles, this is David, my husband. Hey, nice to meet you, man. Same here. Charles is my childhood friend. Our mothers were friends, and we went to the same school up until college. He was going to Miami, so um, my mom asked if he could drop that over to us. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. 
Anyway, uh, Linda, I have to get going. It's still, I still have four more hours of driving and it's getting late. Um, yeah. So you're not even going to get something to eat? No, no, I don't want to arrive too late into the night. Wait, we have an extra room that no one's using. You can stay the night and then leave in the morning. Right, David? Sure. Yeah, thank you, I appreciate it. Linda, uh, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, sure. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? Why do you insist that he spends the night? I asked him when you were right in front of him. You said it was okay. Well, it's not okay. It will never be okay. But why? Because this is our matrimonial home and you can't bring anybody here, period. Look, that's you right there, when we were in the 11th grade. What? Wait, when did you take that picture? I think my mom took it. Oh my god, look at my hair, it's so terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna delete that picture. No, no, I no, need to no, 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 you're not deleting the picture. <laughs> I... Is everything okay? He's fine. No, he seems upset. He'll be all right. When is he leaving? Who? Your so-called friend. When is he leaving? Oh, he's not leaving for another week. He was originally supposed to meet his father in Miami, but he got a call to be in New York for an urgent stockholders meeting. He'll be staying here instead. He's not staying here. He, he's got to go. But why? Because he's beginning to irritate me. When Sophia was irritating me, what did you say to me? You said, if I was tired of the marriage, I could leave. What's good for the goose is equally as good for the gander. What is that supposed to mean? Hey, Sophia. What's wrong? I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to ask you to stay in the hotel. Oh, but why? You say I kind of stay here for a little bit more time. I, I know, but things have changed, and this is the way it has to be. But why? I've been insensitive of my wife's feelings. And the pain that I've caused her by having you here, 
I wouldn't wish that upon anyone. I didn't think anything of it, but when her friend showed up, and I felt that pain, and for these reasons, I'm gonna have to ask you to stay in the hotel until you find your own place. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. They didn't want to cause you any trouble. I'm so sorry. No, don't be sorry. None of this is your fault. I, I, I take full responsibility for everything. So can you, can you please get your stuff together and I'm gonna go grab the car keys. Linda, I'm sorry about what happened. I've been inconsiderate of your feelings, and I'm sorry. I promise you this will never happen again. Thank you for realizing that. I really appreciate it. You know what? I'm making dinner tonight. How about curry chicken for three? Don't you mean two? What? What happened to your friend? Charles left early this morning. His father was coming in early, so he went to meet him. Oh, so we're the only two people in this house? Yep. Wow, that's just how I like it. <laughs>